بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو جی ایف ایکس فرحان ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو ہاؤ ٹو میک اے کول ٹارچ فائر ان ہوڈینی بفور اسٹارٹنگ پلیز سبسکرائب مائی چینل اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو یو نیور مس دا نیو اپ ڈیٹ ہیئر از مائی فائنل ریزلٹ Okay, let's get started. So first of all, let me hide this. Everything. Okay, this is my empty scene. Now first of all, add a geonode and uh, name it Torch Fire Sim. And uh, now I am jumping in this. Okay, first of all, I create a sphere. Now, here is my setting. My radius is 0.5 and uniform scale 0.2. Okay, then I add a transform node and lift it up little bit. This is optional. Actually I lift this to match with the my this geometry. I will show you I will show you later. Okay, let let ignore this. Okay, then after a sphere, I add a grain source node and uh, change my particle type to grain and move to sheet. Okay, by default it is in solid. change this to sheet mode okay and uh, my point separation are connected with my pyro solver this is my pyro solver i copy this and paste it here as a re relative reference and here also as a relative reference then i add attribute a wrangle node and uh, i create my temperature and burn source with attribute a wrangle you can also use pyro uh, pyro source node but i use this here is my values f at temperature is equal to channel float and uh, here is name of temperature okay string and this is my burn and then i after that i click on this and here my temperature and burn source are created and here i put my value in temperature and also in burn field and my value is 5 for both then i add a <coughs> noise attribute on position this is my setting amplitude is 0.1 and uh, element size is 0.5 and i also add little bit animation on y axis something like this my animation noise is 0 uh, pulse duration is 0.25 and uh, this is my offset dollar t multiply by 2 it is changing with time then i add uh, again a noise attribute 
or attribute noise and now here I add my temperature and change this to float because temperature is float. This is my setting operation is multiply range is zero center amplitude and here is ramp this is my element size and pulse duration also added and uh, if I click on this this is my noise let me black the background this is my noise on temperature okay simple then I add a trail node uh, let me close this then I add a trail node and uh, change result type to compute velocity okay after that I add a volume rasterize node and here I add burn temperature and velocity and my voxels size is 0 0.005 which is my final resolution and it is connected with my pyro solver and this is my particle size 2 and coverage attributes change to temperature and coverage scale also 2 and uh, here I also check normalized by clamp coverage okay here I add a pyro solver okay and uh, here I add a transform node with this sphere transform node and in the transform node I change uh, I click on my pivot translation by click on this moving center right to origin and then uh, my uniform scale is 0 0.85 I added this for collision then I add a collision source node and this is my voxel size and then here I add two nulls this is VDB and this is the regular one then merge them both and connect it with the second input of the pyro solver okay <clears throat> now here I show my pyro solver setting nothing complicated my voxel size 0 0.05 my type scale is 1.5 because I increase it because my fire is small and small fire moves far, uh, fast and uh, my max step is 2 I also add advection reflection single project and uh, nothing special here nothing special here in sourcing density temperature burn flame velocity okay nothing special in field my dissipation is 0 0.9 and i uh, i also check emit from flame okay and change my operation to maximum temperature uh, my diffusion is 0 0.05 this actually little bit diffuse the temperature to the to smooth one my cooling rate is 0 0.25 this is my flame life and uh, here I also check for speed uh, it is needed in the disturbance field 
let me explain it this is uh, my buoyancy scale my buoyancy scale is 0 0.05 and uh, add a little bit of wind 0 0.1 and uh, this is my disturbance value 20 block block size is 0 0.05 my roughness is 0 0.5 and max octaves 3 and threshold uh, temperature threshold range 0 0.1 and uh, I think by default uh, it is density but I change it to temperature because I am working on temperature this is my control field which I control it by speed and for this it is necessary to check this field okay then it's work this is my setting my control range is 0.1 to 0.3 and uh, this is my turbulence setting turbulence 0 0.03 swirl size 0 0.3 roughness pulse length and max octaves okay and here I disable my CD field and I check all this if I jump in pyro solver here I add a confinement of scale 10 and uh, also my time change my time scale to 1.5 because my pyrosolver time scale is 1.5 and this is my gas disturbance time scale 1.5 and these are my values and I connected these in these both in advection output <clears throat> then I add a file cache node and change this to VDB and cache it. After caching, my fire look like this. Okay, my fire look like this. Then I add a blast node and here. I need only temperature and velocity so I so here only my temperature and velocity is out and I blast the density okay or delete non selected check then I add a pyro bake volume in pyro bake volume smoke is unchecked because I don't need smoke no scatter and in fire I check on fire and uh, my fire intensity scale is 200 my source range is 1 to 5 because I selected five uh, because I selected five value for my temperature okay and uh, my color um, here source range these are connected for these both are connected also I change this to 1 and 5 okay and uh, fire intensity ramp this is my fire intensity ramp okay by default 
it look like this okay and I change this to this RAM and here I add a null okay so this is my fire source fire sim and the, I, I add this also in collision field okay because I also need collision on this <clears throat> here is my sphere and this is fire and uh, now let me on this okay now this is my sphere and fire this is my torch geometry okay simple and this is my rock which I downloaded from Megascan okay so I rendered this in V-Ray this is my V-Ray setting and uh, I will show you the V-Ray setting in the next tutorial but this setting is for Mantra the pyro bake volume setting is for Mantra you can use Mantra also for rendering or even you can also render this fire in Karma in XPU mode also see you in other video goodbye and also thanks for watching